Hearing is easy. It does not demand any energy or initiative. However, hearing in the Hebrew word means to obey. To truly hear God's word means that we must apply obedience to God's word, as opposed to simply getting the information. Obedience to God is a needs a great needs great deal of faith from us, but also is a great means of grace from God to us. In today's passage, Jesus spoke to his disciples, but not every disciple listened. But for those who obeyed, they became heroes of faith. Three things I've learned from today's passage. The first thing is not listening can bring one's downfall. In the midst of a party, Mary came in and gave Jesus a remarkable gift of expensive perfume and anointed him. He wiped Jesus' feet with his own hair. But Judas was angry and he opposed Mary's act because of his love for money and felt ashamed for her powerful displays for love of Jesus. Jesus not only defended Mary, but highly praised her act. But instead of listening to Jesus, Judas make up his mind to betray Jesus, which signifies his own downfall. The second thing I've learned is the disciples store up even they do not understand what's happening. A large enthusiastic crowd greeted Jesus with words reserved for the Messiah, saying, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Jesus then find a young donkey and rode on it, which fulfilled another prophecy of old, as he demonstrated his own character as the Messiah and King. The disciples observed and listened, but they did not understand. But later they realized, they realized what that all meant and shared this fulfilled prophecy to the whole world. The third thing I've learned is, they also listen and follow Jesus' example. Some Greek have heard of Jesus' reputation and wanted to greet Jesus. Jesus explained that this is a signal that he would be glorified soon. Jesus taught them that unless a seed fell to the ground and died, it will not become a plant and have many more seed. This implied the death of Jesus was necessary for the glorification and the save became the savior of the world. The disciple listened and modeled Jesus' ultimate sacrifice example uh, to the whole world in the first century. My application today is the word of God can bring us great grace from God, but we need to follow and use our faith. But how can we do that? First, we must pray to God for wisdom to understand the Word of God. Then we have to accept the Bible as truth from the Word of God. We ask the Holy Spirit to help us to understand and apply the Scripture in our life. And we must obey as we read the Scriptures. We must, the love of our God is gauged on our obedience. We must meditate on the Word of God day and night because it nourishes our heart and gives us strength for each day. My prayer today is, Lord, we thank you for your love for us and give us your Word. Help us not only to understand, but to listen and to obey so that we can change the world for you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.